Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today on the channel I am going to be doing my 2021 wrap up and I mean it's been a while, I'm very glad that I'm able to make this video again, it's been a fantastic year, I shared on my LinkedIn, my Twitter and my Instagram already, you know how my 2021 actually had a rocky start but then i'm very glad that things fell into place eventually so and i'm going to be taking like different um segments of my life and i'm going to be doing a, a wrap up on them so um work and i mean for those of you who do not know i am a lawyer i work in banking finance and fintech and 2021 was an amazing year for me. Started out, you know, um, getting a permanent position in my firm. I work with the law firm of Aluko and everybody. And um, one of the only two associates in my level. So it was intense at the beginning of the year. Um, noting that some members of the team actually left either for um, Canada or the UK or to another role so yes we were shortly or I mean for a, for a short while we were actually overstretched so it was it was crazy I mean there's a part of the work that you're looking forward to pass on to the next set so during my NYC year um, the NYC associates were responsible for preparing what we call a banking and finance update. So the regulatory update is basically any circular that the CBN released in the past month, right? You're going to do like a summary of it and then tease out the issues so that we can send them to our banking clients. I was really looking forward to passing that part of the work to the next set of the NYC guys, but then there was a pandemic and then law school calendar was distorted so the new guys didn't resume until mid-year so we had to continue that part of the work one of the highlights for me was that i joined a few of my colleagues and the partners to contribute the nigeria chapter for the lending and secured finance review um, which is published by a very popular uh, magazine in the in the uk but then the highlights the organic part of them all was in november of this year i was seconded to the largest telecoms operator in the country so our secondment works you're basically leaving your firm to work at a client company and usually for it ranges from one month to three months to six months. So currently I'm at the client's company working in their treasury and corporate finance unit up until March of next year. It's friendship, yes, you already know. Um, I've been friends with the, those that I call friends now since uni. A lot of them were roommates, were cosmates, and we've stayed as friends up until this day. Yeah, family, um, thank God that my folks are in Lagos, so I didn't get to, I mean, during the holiday when people travel outside Lagos to meet their parents, I mean, my parents are here, literally, like, my mom just shows up at my place, you know, every other week, so I don't get to travel, so folks, um, and my brother also stays very close by, so, I mean, like, it's really just close-knit, I'm happy, I'm happy to, like, um, um, you know, just put a call through to people. But I mean, friends and family, like if I'm being frank here, yeah, in the next year or in the new year, rather, I would, I would want to do more. I want to do better, you know, with keeping in touch. You know, I made a tweet about how I, I really suck um, keeping in touch with people. And so if you're in my shoes, if you also struggle with keeping in touch with people, one thing I've, you know, tried to do 
uh, my friend suggested like you know creating a separate a special um, broadcasting list for friends and family so that you can just shoot um, just thinking about you I miss you how are you doing to just that very select uh, few people and then you can you can also send them personalized messages sometimes it could be for me like the the gestures if they are younger people on my instagram i can send you a funny video just a way of saying that i'm thinking about you now if it is you know like people that are even closer to you like you want to keep in touch with you know from time to time sometimes i even go as far as you know pinning chats just so that i stay in touch but in 2022 I promise you guys I'm going to do better right and then next thing love I if there is anything whoever follows me on social media I'm always you know up and about talking about how single I am so yeah in 2021 the status remains the same praying that um, somebody's daughter finds me in 2022 yeah and then finance um, honestly in 2022 I want to do better, you know, with my investments and with saving and with budgeting and with cutting down, you know, like extravagant, conspicuous consumptions in 2022. And a way to do that, certainly. Um, and those of you who are interested, you can let me know. You can put a just just send me a comment. So this friend of mine, my friend, my friend lives in the US and she was telling me about how she just hosted a goal planning party with her close friends and i thought that was really cool so what's a goal planning party it's just you know a few of your friends coming together and then you guys have like an idea pad or a notepad so you're writing down your goals for the next year and then you're sharing it with this community of people who in the new year are going to be like your accountability partners and that makes a lot of sense um, and so I'm I'm looking to do something for just a small group of people and then we're just going to you know share ideas write down our goals and then challenge one another and maybe create a small community so in terms of finances you know in terms of saving and I mean and, and investment definitely want to grow in that area you know take more risks rather than just investing in, like safe stuff just do more research you know and invest in you know some um high yield volatile assets like cryptocurrency nfts and the rest of that health wise hmm. so for the better part of 2021 i was always eating late i mean and that's because of the nature of the job we're working remotely i was always working up until very late in the night and then i'll go out and go and buy sometimes it could even be seafood okra and pounded yam you know at 10 or at 9 30 right and then mm, and then i started to notice that hmm, the belly was 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 protruding hmm, and that was dangerous you know it doesn't really align with the brand then i started working out so i i downloaded this app called um, um six packs in 30 days and it was amazing like i was i did the entire challenge for 30 days consecutive i loved it i loved the result but then i slacked in december i don't know why but yeah and then i was i, I was using that application and night training the night training club that was also amazing i was doing that so in the new year yes you guys must hold me accountable that is something that I am looking to take more seriously, my health and, you know, eating healthy and working out. So, yeah, um, in terms of achievements, this year was certainly, it was a good year overall. Um, you too, start even before you're ready. Because that, I'm going to start when I'm ready, is nonsense, right? So, because there is really no you know best time accurate time to start anything like people can you don't you can't learn how to start so just start you know even before you think you're ready so while you're at it you're learning and then when you believe you're ready like you already have you know a steady audience people who like to consume your content even before like we get you know 4k cameras and whatever like the content is what people are here for and if you keep delivering that if you, and i'd like to say value has no enemy 
So if you're all about giving value, right, even if you're making this video under the bridge, but if it is valuable to people, people would watch it anyway. So that is all that you should care about, you know, like be less technical and trying to like come correct and thinking about all of the gadgets and the props like who cares about that like if you have something to say and you know it's going to benefit somebody and it's going to make somebody feel less alone because you've shared you know something that they are struggling with and to know that somebody else is also going through that is something very powerful and if you have that you shouldn't care about you know when you get it right before you start to put that message out there so that you can help people as quickly as possible so it's very important so for me started this youtube channel in may and by november you know that was i mean that's basically under six months i already had on i mean 1000 plus subscribers and like thank you everybody who's who's who i mean who watches my video and subscribed and even if i'm a bit of a nuisance on whatsapp but like you people are like the real Jesus. i feel like this set of people who are like my current subscribers are the people who really you know um like part of my friend like fuck me like sage and what i'm about you know so and if i in the new year promise i'm going to be you know pushing myself and making sure that it is the things that are important to you guys you know that i'm talking about so yeah so definitely youtube is, a, is an achievement and then my podcast you see before i started like youtube my podcast was a thing that i was investing a lot of my time in and you know again that is something that i wish to do um, together with the YouTube in 2022, because, like so many things, you know, grew my own investment portfolio. If you're able to trade Forex, good for you, you know, but then, I mean, first of all, like I got burned, you know, giving somebody my money to invest on my behalf and lost, you know, close to a millionaire. You know, true story. So in I, earlier on in 2020, right, I bought Ethereum when it was like under 100K. Like guys, like I'm not even capping, man. And then I had it. I was working in a good place. I was getting well paid. There was no reason for me to sell that Ethereum until this forest guy just, you know, came up with some um, cock and bull story about how, like, oh, he's indebted to some people and he couldn't pay out like the money, you know. And I had to like do stuff, you know, get my own place and everything. So I was forced to sell. The Ethereum, at the time when I sold, even though I, I bought at under 100k, at the time when I sold it, it was close to about 700k. So definitely that's like a lot of profit. But guess what? Today, Ethereum is over 2 point something million naira. So that was, I would have just left my Ethereum in there. But for this, for so, I mean, but that is the thing about being young. You're able to take risks and then you learn, but then you're going to also make a lot of money. So if you uh watching this video you need to just you know be more informed that's that's the important thing right so i've said that and i'm going to share my lessons from 2021 in another video which is like also extremely extremely important you know like try and like grow your income you know you can't save your way out of poverty like i like to say you know and like interesting interesting stuff so yeah guys that is all my 2021 wrap up so in the new year we're going to be bigger and better we're going to be all about everything you know excellent everything great you know the vibes like you know i've got it like i mean sometimes i thank god for all of these talents and you know it's i'm feeling really good and you can tell so we're going to take on that good vibe we're going to encourage each other. We're going to push each, each other into the new year. And we're going to be bigger and better. And we're going to grow as a community. Thank you for watching the video, man. You guys are the MVPs. You guys are the best. I don't... And I want to cry, Sha. But yeah, you get it. You get it. We'll see, man. We'll see you later, man. Yeah.